today on Go Island, we're back at the gym. This is certified personal trainer Casey Scott. She works out of the Nanaimo Athletic Club, and today she is introducing me, and therefore you, to Tabata. Coming up today on Go, living with Alzheimer's, one of 70,000 in BC, pathways to success in Fort Alberni, and caught in the undertoes of poverty. That and more today on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Berg, and I'm spending a lot of time in these workout clothes lately. I do put them through the washing machine in between appearances on camera. You'll be glad to know, but that was exactly my goal when I started working out here at the Nanaimo Athletic Club about six weeks ago. Today, we've got something new. This is Casey Scott. She's a trainer here at the club. I've heard the term thrown around, Tabata. Yes. What is it? Tabata is an absolutely amazing way to shed fat and increase all aspects of your fitness level in a really, really minimal amount of time. The reason behind this is there's so much research that has proven to us that within four minutes, so one Tabata block is four minutes, which you're about to find out, okay. one particular exercise, you're going to work at a really good high intensity for, about tw for 20 seconds, you're going to rest for 10 seconds. You're going to repeat this for a total of eight times. Oh my gosh. That's all right, you can do this. <laughs> eight <laughs> times is going to take us to four minutes. Four minutes, here's the motivating part, four okay. minutes is proven to be more effective than if you were on the elliptical or running on the treadmill for a whole hour. Okay, and that's been a big thing for me, efficiency and time. I'm busy, you're busy, you have four kids. I have four kids, so time is absolutely crucial to me. Okay. And you've been talking something about the metabolism too, and we're probably going a little bit long here, but by, by Increasing the intensity that much, you're going to benefit from the exercise for a longer period of time afterwards. That's right. So if you were to do that hour running on the treadmill, your metabolic rate is going to go up for about four hours. That's it. Okay. When you do, say, a 30-minute spin class or 20 minutes of Tabata training, your metabolic rate is going to go up for 48 hours. So wow. four hours or 48 hours of really high-intense calorie burning. Okay, you got to get the most out of your time. We're going to come back and put me into some of those Tabata exercises in the meantime. There are more than 70,000 people across the country affected by Alzheimer's. Jocelyn Matwe introduces us to one of those individuals next. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. There is no more procrastinating. It's time to get into some Tabata. Casey Scott is a personal trainer here at Nanaimo Athletic Club. 20 seconds on, 10 second break, 20 you seconds gotcha. on, and you're starting me with some what? Jumping jack squats. These are oh. going to tax out your legs. We're going to get your heart rate going. We're just going to jump right into okay. this. Okay. You ready? Form's important, right? You betcha. So okay. I've got you standing looking in the mirror. Okay. I'm going to do this with you really slowly just so we get the form, and then we're going to grab that stopwatch, and it's go time. Shoulders have to be back, and they have to be down. Okay. You're going to stick out that butt just like a squat, but we're going deep. Legs are wide enough. I want you to touch the floor. Okay. okay. Notice your shoulders. We don't want any slumping. As you come up, squeeze your butt, push through your heels, just like a jumping jack, hands above your head, feet together. Okay. Back down you go. You ready for this? Sure. Fast as you can. All Fast right? as I can. Oh, so. I just pulled something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I'm just going to use my iPhone as a stopwatch, any stopwatch works, or just use the clock on the wall at the gym. Okay. Ready, and go. First 20 seconds. Jump it up. That's it. Now you don't want to hold back. Just because you've got eight rounds of this, it doesn't matter. The key to Tabat is 110% all the time. And think about 20 seconds now. You got it. That's it. Live in the moment. It's 20 seconds. The only 20 seconds of your life. You've got three seconds left. Pick it up. Pick it up. Heels and butt and rest. Okay. You've only got 10 seconds. Take advantage of it. 10 seconds. Okay. And how do you do that? Deep breathing. Real, oh, I did real pull deep okay. breathing. Ready in two and one and go. Here's round two. Okay. Again, just nope. stay in the moment. Nope. Into the heels. Squeeze up with the butt cheeks. And Tummy it's more, more important to do it right than fast? You betcha. But the more you practice, the faster you're going to get. Tummy muscles are in tight. Keep those shoulders back. Keep watching what you're doing. You've got to stay focused. And rest. Awesome. Okay. That's two rounds. Only six more to go. While I do that, check out a story that Teddy Fortin calls Pathways to Success. Whew.
You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I did do those other six exercises into that. <laughs> she really. did. She really did. <laughs> I did probably eight times because we've been practicing. And, and plus two, ten. Um, this is Casey Scott. She's a personal mm. trainer here at the Nanaimo Athletic Club. There's always fitness trends. You know, everyone's talking about the latest, greatest thing. Is Tabata just a trend? Yeah, yeah, you bet it is. I think every new thing that breaks out in the fitness industry is technically a trend. Right. Think about it. If we were still doing grapevines, I think we'd be bored. Right. The key, though, is the research, right? Tabata has a lot of research backing up this four minutes the four different exercises and the 2010 intervals. Okay, and you can't just go and do any exercise at any fitness level because there's intensity is a key to it and that's where the science and expertise that's comes right. into it. That's right, exercise selection. Okay. So when I design a program that's Tabata for somebody, we're really looking at your high intensity might look completely different than somebody else's high intensity. So it's about figuring out what's going to work for Kate, what's going to push you right. safely, but to your max. Okay. That's the been, key to Tabata. That's one of the hard things I've been finding is what is my max? Am I being lazy or am I being sensible when I think it's time to stop? But that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> I did take a class here the other day and you'd mentioned muscle confusion and just, you know, changing things up and switching up your routine. I'm so busy, I think sticking to another routine in my life is just not going to work. So I hit an abs and below class with Kim the other day and it was fantastic. My quads are still hurting from that class and there's something to be said for the camaraderie that you get from being in a class or working one-on-one -on -one with a trainer such as yourself. So That's right. let's confuse my muscle. My brain's is always a, my brain's always a little confused, anyways. All right, down so, you go. We got some push-ups, but okay. not quite the type of push-ups you're used to seeing. Okay. So we want to make sure your forehead is past your fingertips. Okay. Your back is nice and flat. Now we're going to do this from her knees. If you wanted to try this from your toes, that's just going to add okay. a little bit more to that intensity. I'll this wait is going to work time. for now. Kay. Tummy held in, nice and tight. Ready, set, go. Deep breath in, exhale. Bring and a knee to your elbow. Deep breath in. Push up, opposite knee to the elbow. Breathing in, exhale, knee to elbow. Perfectly straight, nice flat back. She's working at the best pace that she can. She's gotta know that she can maintain this for 20 seconds with perfect form, perfect breathing, and rest. For only 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Am Get I the being wimpy? Not, well, not on my knees, but on my thighs. No, because eventually you're gonna move to your knees. Some people might start on their knees. Oh, never mind, down you go. <laughs> Some people might start on their toes and halfway through drop to their knees. It's about pushing to your max. That's it. Okay. okay. Deep breath in, exhale up. Good. And again, it's not the knees, it's sort of right on the top of the thighs okay. there where she's resting. Keep that head up. We don't want any scrunchy necks. And oh. rest. That's oh. two rounds. That was a lazy one at the end. I don't think I even finished. <laughs> That's two okay. rounds. Six more to go. Time for a bit longer of a break than just 10 seconds. Still ahead today on Go Island, caught in the undertoes of poverty and bringing back Douglas Creek in Mount Doug Park. That and more still ahead today on Go Island. Okay, we're going to get into your third exercise. I call this a prisoner lunge. You need your okay. hands behind your head. I know, okay, sounds prisoner. good. Hands okay. behind your head. I need you to squeeze those shoulder blades back so we can get a little bit of back work the whole entire time okay. while you're working your legs. You're going to step back with one leg, drop your opposite elbow to the inside of the opposite knee, squeeze up with your butt cheek feet together, change legs, you're working on the other side. All right, you got that? Yeah. Ready, set, here's our 20 seconds. Okay. Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is Casey Scott. Perfect. We're doing Tabata. We're oh. making sure that elbow goes to the inside of the knee because I okay. need that knee to push towards the baby toe. We don't want okay. the knees pointing in. We need you to come up super tall, down into the heel, up with the <coughs> butt cheek. Three seconds left, you're doing fantastic. Deep breath in, nice and straight, rest. Okay, what am I doing in this rest? I only get 10 seconds. You're doing some very nice, nice deep breathing. You need to get your body back. Okay. It's recovered as quickly as you possibly can. Go. Now, how do I know that I'm making progress in Tabata? Well, you can always be counting the amount of reps that you're doing. So in 20 seconds, how many actual repetitions are you getting? Okay. And as you get more used to the exercise, more efficient with the exercise, you're going to see those reps grow. So it's a really, really self-motivating exercise. It's also a great way to track your progress. Okay. And rest. Oh. Yeah. So and you've got legs going there, shoulder blades are working. It should, I should be able to recover in 10 seconds? Not completely. No. Enough. 
10 seconds to get you through the four minute block. But very important, that's a good point. At the end of the four minute block, you need to completely recover before you go into the next exercise. Okay. So I don't mean back to how you feel when you're sleeping and laying in bed, but you wanna get your heart rate back to where you can talk. You okay. want to time how long that takes you because your recovery rate is a really, really good way of monitoring your fitness level. The fitter you get, the faster you'll recover, the faster you'll be like, all right, what's my next exercise? Okay, well, I think I'm ready to go into the next one. I might be struggling through Tabata, but it's actually nothing compared to people who struggle every day with poverty. Here's James Green. Okay. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I find myself on my back yet again at the Nanaimo Athletic Club. I think I feel some abs coming on. Casey Scott is a personal trainer certified. And what are you going to make me do next? Well, <laughs> this is what I call Tabata inspired exercise. Okay. So not everybody can work at full intensity 110% all the time. Actually, everybody can. We have no idea what we're capable of, right. but not everybody. It's a tough sell. We just can't get them full on out there like you've just done today right off the get-go. So sometimes we slow it down. We use the concept of Tabata, the 2010, and start to show people that, yes, you can do this, and then we progress into more aggressive exercises as okay. you sort of feel comfortable. We so, all want to tighten our tummies. That's right. So with that said, you need to have that tummy muscles nice and tight. I could be dropping medicine balls on you, and you wouldn't okay. even feel it. I don't want your lower back pressed into the floor, but I do not want to let you arch it so you need okay. to keep it in what we call neutral okay. all right nice and tight very slowly first you're gonna bring your knees right up to my hand here about 90 degrees and then it's as if you want to lift your feet up and touch the roof no swinging control down bring them up and lift all right here we go 20 <laughs> seconds go you're gonna give me the best speed you can with complete control okay now the hardest part to control you can feel is the way down isn't it yes so if you're lowering those legs and your lower back is popping up and arching this is not any good this is not core this is not deep abdominal work that's it you got to be breathing you got four seconds left blowing out breathing in really really focused on the lower back and rest okay again you've only got 10 seconds you got to take some nice deep breaths i'd be tempted to just to keep going straight through this for like two minutes or something but uh, you're gonna get sloppy and you're right. gonna lose your and go. <laughs> you lost <it> two seconds <laughs> there. You gotta stay focused. Out. <laughs> um, when we do something for too long, we tend to get sloppy, okay. right? Our brain starts to go away. So in that 10 seconds and that deep breathing, we refocus, we rethink about tightening, not just drawing the belly button to the spine, but the whole entire lower abdominals have to be pulled in and tucked in nice and tight. Okay. And rest. Great. Awesome. I'm starting to feel that. Um, I'm going to get ready for another set. We're going to throw things over to Nikki Iwanishin. She's in Mount Doug Park in Victoria. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island and the end of my very first experience with Tabata. Casey Scott is writing down some notes. I have always wanted to be a fly on the wall. I wonder what she's writing about me. She's saying that I'm doing very, very well, I'm sure. I've had a small sampling of Tabata today, and it's a good idea to meet with a personal trainer. You can contact one through the Nanaimo Athletic Club, and then they can set up the Tabata for you. Casey's an expert in that area that is customized just for you because everybody has a different level of maximum. I hope that all made sense. After all this exercise, is a spa next? Yeah, she's putting a spa down in my program. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time.